pants. What pants? Great. Maybe it's not his tooth that I'm smelling. What'd you get? Yeah, did you give something to the cannibals? Did you lend something to the cannibals? I lent my banana picker to them, and they never gave it back. As collateral, they gave me this enormous cotton swab. What? It opens the monkey head, see? No. Not like I ever need to go into the monkey head. I do. But if they want it back, I've got to have my picker first. It's a matter of pride, you know. S somewhat. Yeah, why don't you, yeah, give me the key to the monkey head. That, that will solve a lot of my problems. Why don't you just give me the key to the monkey head? No, I needed to get back my banana picker. Of course you do. So, yeah, I've got pressing business to attend to, I guess. Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Sure. Yes, me too. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you mean? And now I can't do anything with him. Uh, we do have a few new items, though. Uh, do you have anything to say about the memos? To the Monkey Island Cannibals, please stop moving this. It is delicately balanced. Herman Toothrot. Right. You're not going to... Ghost Pirate LeChuck. Oh, my God. We must ask you once again... No. 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 What, what do I do to get this to stop? Area. No. Decent people are trying to sleep. <gasps> I don't think I can't get it to stop. Kindly keep the noise level down. I want to know if you had any commentary. The Monkey Island Cannibals. <laughs> we saw you taking that woman with the scarf down there. We don't like you getting laid. To the Monkey Island Cannibals. Oh, my God. I don't mind you worshipping in front of the sacred monkey idol. I don't know how to get this to stop. I really don't. Operations. But could you please... Right. And he just goes through all of them. At least I got him to stop talking. Did not mean for that to happen. That is... that. Okay, he's done. He is done. And off goes Toothrot. Even though I couldn't do anything with him on screen anyway. Uh, anything to say about the spyglass? I can see that big banana tree on the beach. I can see it without the spyglass. Congratulations. With spyglasses, you have the power of normal sight. Uh, what about the cannonball? There are three holes in it. It's a bowling ball. Awesome. What about the noteworthy rock? I'm no geologist, but judging by these conchoidal fractures... What? I'd say this is a piece of flint. Flint? Ooh. I wouldn't know what to do with flint. Conchoidal fractures, though? I mean, like... Does that mean, like, straight lines? Yeah, whatever. Uh... Let's look at the rock. It looks like someone put this here on purpose. <laughs> you know what I do with things that people put there on purpose? I push it. Oh, it laid right on the... Seesaw. Wow. Looked like it hit the big banana tree on the beach. What? I bet the odds against that are incredible. Um, unless you know what you're doing. Uh, from what I understand, I've never done this, uh, but you can uh, hit the ship doing that. Um, you'll get a different ending. I will say that. Uh, I'm not going to do that this time. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely just... Leave it as is. The ship can stay. You have anything to say about these rocks over here, though? Well, for I don't anything special about it. Yeah, I figured not. So let's just get out of here. So if you want, you can try to murder your mutinous crew. I will. I will let them live. I don't actually think they die. Nobody really dies. Oh, it sure is hot here. Nobody really dies in in Monkey Island, unless you're just completely stupid with Guybrush. But that's entirely different. Uh, we need to walk over to this dam here. We, the, I mean, obviously it's here. It needs to be used for something. Maybe even the heap of rocks needs to be used for something. But the dam, I know, needs to be used for something. I said we blow it up. I mean, let's just wreak havoc all across the island. Now we can use the flint with the cannonball. And I've blown up the dam and off Guybrush goes. Hooray, can I do anything at the river here? 
No. So I have to go down to the pond here. So let's head over to the pond and we can see if we can do anything here. It's on the note. Herman, please return our key to the monkey head. The cannibals. Right. That is a lot of notes. And two throats back. This is an old friend of mine, the one I sailed here with. He's dead. He's lost weight. He's also never looked better. <laughs> what? You killed him, didn't you, Toothrot? What happened to him? What happened to him? Oh, nasty accident. He was trying to put up a swing. I honestly don't know what to believe when it comes to this one. Just after I said, nobody really dies in Monkey Island. Here's somebody that's dead. But of course, he was dead long before we showed up. But still, did... Was he trying to put up a swing, or did Herman hang him? I don't know what to believe. I really don't. And they're not really going to let me ask any questions about it. Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. Is it just... <laughs> God, that laugh. Is it just following me around? Look at the unhealthy-looking man. He doesn't look good. No, I don't think he does. But he's got rope. Maybe, maybe Herman's telling the truth because he does have rope in his hand that I can grab, and I think that's actually everything that I can do here. <laughs> Let's get away from this. Uh, so I can't seem to get away to this northern part of the island just yet. I have two pieces of rope, which should help with the crack. But there is this corner of the island over here. We have a clearing. Let's head for the clearing. That's pretty much everything here. Oh, there's a beach there, too. I missed. Actually, let's go to the beach first. See if we can find ourselves another note that I will try my best not to read. Oh, a bottle. What's in the bottle? There's a message in it. You're going to read it? It's a memo. Of course. To Herman Toothrot. From Yammer, Hem, and Haw, Attorneys at Law. Ah, I got it. suit against Cannibal Tribe over malicious tossing of your oars into a chasm. I think we have a case here. We can probably soak them for emotional distress and possibly punitive damages as well. Really? Hmm. Sounds like legalese. I don't think I can translate the rest. That's it? Weird. Okay, so he could sue the cannibals for emotional distress for throwing his oars into the chasm. Alright, now let's go to the clearing. Private property. Private property. Worshipping is permitted, but please do not enter the monkey head. We found the monkey head. GP LeChuck. Grand Pirate LeChuck. What about these skulls here? Yipes. Why'd you get that close to him only to be scared of them? Heep. What about the nose? What? Totem pole? The artist carved his name on it. What's his name? Made by Red Skull. Red Skull! Is that because it was bleeding? It's on the wow. nose. That is a nose. I can only look at this nose here, though. What about this one? Made by Sharp Tooth. Sharp Tooth and Red Skull! Very nice. I like your work. That would be a monkey head. That monkey head some piece of work, eh? Who made that? that? Case of yellow waxy build -up, though. What? It is impressive. Yeah, leave me alone. Is that what he he's so busy doing, following me around? Yes, it's quite impressive. It'd be a great tourist attraction <laughs> if anybody could ever find the island. That's kind of important, yeah. And I guess that's it. Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> no, 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 you don't ever. They didn't really update that much. It looks pretty much the same, I must admit. For for when this came out, he really still doesn't have pants. For when this came out, this was this was pretty impressive for graphics. Still looks pretty damn nice, though. Still looks nice. Okay, not much for us to do here. We have no way of entering the monkey head since we need the giant swab because of the earwax buildup that Toothrot has told us the monkey head has. 
Sometimes this game makes no sense to me. Sometimes it does. Okay, into the crack. This is the last place that we can go where there was something that we couldn't do before. So let's use one of our pieces of rope here with the strong branch. And that should lower away down, as you might expect. Now let's use our other piece of rope with the sturdy stump. Very nice. What does it look like? Eh, nothing that great. Okay, pick up the oars. Can I go walk to tree? What's on the tree over here? Oh, he walks up. So we can't walk around down there. And we also can't get our ropes back because that would make too much sense. No bananas here. No bananas in the tree, of course. So let's move on. Let's head back to the beach, though, because we did hit the tree. And now we can pick up a couple more bananas. That sounds good to me. We don't need a banana picker. I have bananas. But now we can use the oars with the rowboat. I can paddle it with these oars. Yes, you are a genius. Now what we want to do is head to the northern part of the island. Where we have not been able to go to this point. Is that as fast as he can go? I would appreciate going faster, but that's still pretty damn fast. I know I can't row that fast. I have tried once in a while. It just doesn't work. And we have made it to the northern part. Now, for the most part, this place is pretty empty. I don't remember be there being much of anything. There is a beach there, and there's, well, what looks like a village. They, they don't label it for me, but I'm going to go ahead and call that a village, probably the cannibal's village. So we need to head over to the beach over on this side. I don't know wh whether it's faster to go up the western side or the eastern side. Either way, it's probably you know, roughly the same. So it's not that big of a deal. Let's head... Well, let's read this note. Cannibals. I'm not giving you bloodsuckers your key to the monkey head until you return my banana picker. Right. H.T. Herman Toothrot. And I think that is the last of the notes. I could be wrong, though, but... I don't remember there being anything else. I don't remember hearing anything else, at least. Is that... Is there really nothing more I can do? Just the village? Anything down here? Nothing. Nothing on the delta? Nothing in the mountains? Wait, what? They let me, like, click on the vulture? Vulture! Vulture! Nah, they're not gonna let me do anything with the vulture. At least I can't catch them fast enough. So let's just head for the village. This looks promising. What's with the dock? <laughs> Is that... Oh, it looks much better now. Oh, that... I'm sorry. That is a huge improvement. Just with the dog skull alone. Alright, look at the hut. I can't see inside from here. Oh, sorry then. Sorry to have asked you to do something you can't do. It's an empty hut. Oh. This hut is very empty. Ah, very empty. So this one is even more empty than my last hut. How about this one? This is the emptiest hut I've ever seen. Oh, well, I guess they're all empty. No two ways about it. This hut's empty. <laughs> Let's see if I can annoy him by doing this. I bet if I looked up "empty" in the dictionary, there'd be a picture of this hut. Really? We're gonna go with the dictionary thing. Well, do you know what you would find if you looked up the word "idiot" in the dictionary? No, a picture of. I messed up the joke! <clears throat> Do you know what you would find if you looked up idiot in the dictionary? The definition of idiot, which is what you are! <sighs> How did I mess up that joke? Now I am sad. Let's just pick up some more bananas. <laughs> That'll cheer me up! Bananas always cheer me up! Don't ask how I use them. What about the other fruit? Nothing left but bad fruit. Bad fruit? Okay. 
That's a big stone head. It looks big and empty. That seems to be a theme of this place. So I guess we got more bananas. Um, maybe we can give those to Toothrot, and we can find out if he those would be cannibals. Is that a banana in your pocket, or are you just glad to see us? Both, baby. Got a lot of nerve stealing from the notorious Monkey Island cannibals. You guys have cannibals? lisps. Well, yes. Although lately we've been trying to stay away from red meat. Only for health reasons. Of course. We're still as vicious as ever. Oh, especially with tourists who try to steal our stuff for souvenirs. But everything's well, empty. What do you have to say for yourself? Um Go ahead and eat me, see if I care. I don't think they're gonna be fooled by the three headed monkey. I don't want to be pathetic. And I am a mighty pirate. Don't eat me. I'm a mighty pirate. That means his skin will be leathery and his meat tough and the stringy. That's You're true. Of no use to us, nutritionally speaking. But if you had some sort of offering for us, something that we could pass on to the great monkey, well, um, I don't know. How, why are your mouths moving through your masks? I don't understand. Uh, maybe something in here. Do you guys want? The banana? No. How about the brochure? How to arm yourself and see for? You have oh. nothing for us. They didn't want anything. We might eat you. We might let you go. We'll have to talk about it with the village nutritionist. You have a village nutritionist. Come, let me show you our guest hut. This doesn't sound good. That should do it. Is this where you just keep me in order to? Sacrifice me to the stone head? You gonna eat me? <gasps> we'll find out next time, because that's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play the Secret Monkey Island Special Edition. I've been Bali Scoop. I've been joined, as always, by the still alive, though just barely, Guybrush Threepwood. Captain. Captain's still supposed to be in there somewhere. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.